Lots of bad things were happening to this poor, foolish, very stupid mayor. All he has to do is call, and within 10 minutes, their problem will be over. As you know, they have to call us. They have to call and request help. All he has to do is call, and the problem will end. That was President Trump talking about Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler, who says he is moving out of his home after weeks of protests outside of his condo building. Meanwhile, police are investigating the weekend shooting death of a supporter of the right-wing group Patriot Prayer. Matt Finn is live in Portland this morning for us. Matt, good morning. Sandra, this is the first morning in a few days that we're not waking up to the news of yet another riot here in Portland. And Portland's mayor has now reportedly told his neighbors that he is moving out of his own home because of the damage and fear that riots and protests have brought to his neighborhood. This comes after a riot on Monday night in which police say demonstrators set fires outside the mayor's condominium tower and inside an occupied building also burglarizing a business to use furniture for fuel. 19 people were arrested in an unlawful assembly outside of the mayor's condominium building that has 114 units. Portland's mayor writes in an email to his neighbors that it would be best for himself and everyone's safety and peace that he finds a new home, writing in part, I want to express my sincere apologies for the damage to our home and the fear that you are experiencing due to my position. It is unfair to all of you who have no role in politics or in my administration. And Oregon State Police now tell Fox News that it's working with the U.S. Attorney's Office to review arrests that its own state troopers made here in Portland to bring federal charges against potentially criminal rioters. Deputies have been assigned to Portland and new officers will continue to be assigned. They are being cross-deputized by U.S. Marshals. This basically means that state police can bypass Multnomah County's District Attorney Mike Smith, who has chosen not to prosecute some of the demonstrators arrested for alleged criminal or violent behavior. In a statement, Oregon State Police write, OSP is not criticizing any officials and we respect the authority of the district attorney, but to meet the governor's charge of bringing violence to an end, we will use all lawful methods at our disposal. And this morning, police continue to remain tight-lipped about a suspect in the death of 39-year-old Aaron Danielson, who was shot dead in the streets of Portland Saturday. Local reports have identified a shooting suspect, but police will not confirm that shooting victim was believed to be a part of the conservative group Patriot Prayer that was in town for a pro-President Trump caravan over the weekend. Sandra. Matt Finn, live on the ground in Portland for us. Thank you, Matt.